Hey, all my cancer friends, and thank you for joining me on Indigo Goddess 1111. I am here bringing you your um, new moon in cancer partial solar eclipse energy in your sign. So um, I usually only do one channel message a month, but uh, my guys were encouraging me to help the collective get through this energy and um, and put out an extra message just intended for the energy of this eclipse so it'll be it won't be so many exact uh dates and occurrences and situations but more so um what's coming towards you how to deal with those energies and um what you can expect to come in and out of your life in the next um starting in the middle of july and really going through august but really this channel message is for the first two weeks of this eclipse which would be the first uh or the third what is it? The 11th and 12th is when it um, goes. So probably around the 13th through the 27th when we have the lunar eclipse. So, um, Cancer, with you guys being a water sign, you're going to be able to thrive in this eclipse um, because we have Jupiter, let's see here, it's Jupiter, Neptune, and the sun forming a grand water trine. So for non-water signs, we're struggling. We're struggling with this energy. Um, for you water signs, especially cancer, because it's in your sign, you guys are thriving. Um, Spirit is encouraging you and calling for you to help others get through this energy as well, um, if at all possible. It's just time to relax and go with the flow of things. Um, in this energy, it's a huge um, importance to ground yourself and to reflect with all half the planets going into retrograde. Actually, I think it's more than half. Um, now is not the time to start anything new. Uh, it's time to reflect where you've been, where you're going, where you're at, what you still have to complete, how far you've come, and just to really take stock and reset new goals. Um, you guys have so much working for you this month. For it being such a wild month with the energies being crazy, you guys really do have a lot of energy working in your favor with that first partial solar eclipse going into Cancer. Um, yeah, and then the 27th, we have the partial uh, or the full lunar eclipse going into Aquarius. So you guys are going to be feeling rejuvenated. Uh, re-energized. You guys are going to be feeling amazing towards the end of this energy. Um, this is also bringing in major completions, major new beginnings. Um, you guys are allowing your energy or allowing yourself to um, end things that are not your greatest good and things that are no longer serving your purpose um, to be the, the best uh, person that you can possibly be for the collective. So you are definitely feeling the energy in this next two weeks. Amazing. Um, stay true to you. Stay on course. Um, do what is best for you. You may encounter some energies that uh, don't have your greatest intentions um, in mind. They are more worried about themselves. So um, just be careful, especially in love relationships. Be you, be yourself, stay true to you, speak your truth, walk your truth, be your truth. Um, don't let others influence you into something A, you don't want to do or B, um, someone you don't want to be. Uh, Spirit is encouraging you to really experience nature the next two weeks, be out in nature, especially water. You guys thrive in water, but um, get to water if at all possible. Uh, a creek, a stream, a pond, a lake, the ocean, whatever. Um, this is going to do beautiful things for you, for your grounding, for your soul. Uh, for some of you, you may experience power struggles in the next two weeks, really depending on where your moon is when we go into that lunar eclipse. But um, so make sure that you are um, really. Uh, grounded and make sure you meditate the 27th when that goes into when we go into a, that lunar eclipse um during 
the next two weeks during this eclipse, now is the time to release. Release anything in your life. Person, place, emotion, you know, uh, feeling, anything, who, what, when, where, why, any of those that bring negativity, that bring a negative thought to mind, uh, that bring negativity, that lower your vibration and no longer serve you. Now's the time, especially with it being in your sign. It's going to be way easier for you to do, for you to disconnect this um, negative, whatever you are cutting out of your life. Um, because during this eclipse, you guys are really, uh, you guys are changing you. You're changing your whole life. You're changing everything you're about. Uh, yeah. Now's the time to, you guys are changing your path, your direction, your goals uh, relationships, just everything about you is changing and you're thriving every day. You are thriving more and more. Um, be really compassionate. If you have partners, friends, family that are non-water signs, cause they will, uh, probably struggle with this energy. So it's calling for compassion, understanding, non-judgment. Um, you guys, however, are having people flock to you. You're like a magnet. You have this intense magnetism in this uh, solar eclipse energy. Uh, and it's because, you know, you're radiating. You have confidence. You are, you're just thriving. There's no better word for it. Um, right now, you, Cancer, are really in the driver's seat. I see you literally in the driver's seat of your life. Where do you want to go? What do you want to be? It's all at your fingertips. You just have to decide, set your goals and you're going there. Um, you're changing your lives. You're changing your, uh, trajectory. You are moving into your path, into your soul's journey, into your soul's purpose, your life path. Um, and you're just flowing right into it. You're not, you're not experiencing the struggle that everyone else is trying to get into the right lane, um, before the dead end. So, uh, you guys could be possibly dealing with other people's anger, uh, from the struggle that they're experiencing. You guys. Oh, nice. You guys are going to have amazing opportunities open up to you just suddenly at the snap of a finger. All these opportunities are going to come in for you if you are living right. Like, um, yeah. Yeah, if you're doing what's right for you, doing what's best for you, doing, living in a um, positive way, new opportunities are going to open up for you very quickly. I caution any of those who um, are doing things of a lower vibration, um, like criminal activity. Now, obviously, I don't condone like murderers and kill, but I'm, I'm even talking like little crimes, like, uh, yeah, you know, like, um, taking something from a store without paying for it, even though it was only $5, you know, slipping it in your pocket and walking out the door or, you know, um, somebody drops $10 out of their pocket and it falls on the ground you see it fall from that person and you pick it up and put it in your pocket anyways. Like those little, like even something so minute that when you think about the grand scale of the universe, it seems like something petty. But with Pluto, where it's at in uh, the position, if with those little things, it's going to bring you bad luck. It's going to bring you bad karma. If you're living right, Pluto helps you and the universe helps you. So 
I caution those of you who it's very tempting at times to um, not do the right thing, even though you didn't set out intentionally to do the wrong thing. Um, those who do the right are going to be very well blessed in this next uh, eclipse. Um, stay focused. Stay focused on your goals. Stay focused on your dreams. Stay out of drama. Someone is going to try to drag you into drama. Um, stay out of it. It doesn't concern you. Um, and you will be thankful that you took that advice because the, someone in your energy is about to hit a shit storm and it's ugly and you don't want to be a part of it. Stay out of the drama. Uh, you guys are really um, realizing your... Uh, your gifts, your skills to navigate through this energy. Uh, your luck is increasing. Your finances are increasing. Yeah, you are, you are just reflecting a very positive light in this energy. <laughs> During this eclipse, um, spirit wants you to take the time to Reflect as well on your journey. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do in this life? If you're unhappy, ask yourself, why am I unhappy? Um, and don't just say, because I'm lonely. You know, that's that's too broad. Dig deep. Um, don't be scared of what you're going to find. You know, every time you come up with an answer, well, why do I feel that? Why do I feel lonely? You know, because I wasn't invited out with my friends. Well, why wasn't I invited out with my friends? Well, I did, you know, just like keep digging deeper um, so you can release those hurts because those, a lot of them are buried down from childhood, from past lives. You need to bring those up and let them come to surface and literally with your thought process, work through them, not just uh, quit thinking about it and you'll deal with it tomorrow because that's how they end up getting buried. Tomorrow never comes. Deal with it now. Allow them to come to surface. Um, also you're, it's calling for you to reflect on your skills, your gifts. How are you contributing to the world? How are you using your skills? How are you, um, how are you using these to make your life, the life you want to, um, accomplish your dreams because nobody gets their dreams handed to them by doing no work, by having no contribute contribute contribution I don't know anyways without contributing their skills to the universe without contributing to the collective your dreams don't just come to you um so what are you doing in this life to make your life what you want it to be what you dream it to be um yeah and then after that make another list what can I do to accomplish my dream what can I contribute? What can I, um, what can I do to make this world a better place? That's going to help me reach my goals and make this life, the dream life that I want. Um, yeah, yeah. Just really, really reflect, ground yourself, chill out, relax, have fun. This next couple of weeks, just have fun. It's your birthday month for one. Hello. Happy birthday to all you cancers. Um, but yeah, just have fun. This is going to, this is going to be a time to as well. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you may be, uh, choosing to like change your self image. I'm seeing like major, like, you know, cutting your hair, um, throwing out your wardrobe and getting all like a totally different style. Like you're going to change your image to the outside world. Um, and these are being reflected because of changes you're feeling inside. So, um, those are going to directly reflect, uh, what's going on in here. Uh, you guys in this next year with, uh, all the eclipses in, in this next year, you guys are really having huge changes. New you new every, like, totally revamping your life for the better. Amazing. Um, one day that is very important to you guys. 
Okay, July 24th. Yeah, the 24th, things are going to go haywire. Things are going to go crazy. You're going to think you went to um, Insanityville. Like, just the energy in the whole universe is just out of whack. Um, surprising events, unexpected changes. Uh, no, that's the 27th. I apologize. Now they're showing me the 27th. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... The 27th, the, the energy is going to be just outrageous. And that's because that's the day of the full lunar eclipse going into Aquarius, causing emotions, just craziness. Um, unexpected events, unexpected changes, unexpected. Uh, yeah, just everything's anything that you weren't expecting could possibly happen that day. Uh, surprising events. Um, unexpected events. Now these don't have to be bad. They could be good as well, but, uh, bringing things to light, enlightening. Some of you could be struggling with power struggles, especially if you have a non-water sign, uh, partner. The 24th spirits message for you. This is going to be a very spiritual day for Cancerians. Very um, up in the clouds. Very dreamy. Uh, connect with water on this day. You are having a spiritual awakening. Uh, you're ascending. Connect with water. And connect with spirit. This day is going to be amazing for you guys. So beautiful. Um, yeah, get to water. If any day at all, the 24th, it's going to help you ascend. It's going to help you heal. It's going to bring you to a whole new level of spirituality. And it's amazing. Then three days later, we have crazy bill, um, on the 27th with the lunar eclipse. So those two days are very important to you guys. Uh, yeah, just make sure you stay grounded. You're going to deal with it just fine. Uh, you're thriving during this time period. I really don't have anything um, negative or, you know, uh, in in the next two weeks for you guys. So don't let anything I say, like, strike fear in you, like unexpected changes. Um, you know, they could be shocking. Yes, but uh, you're going to deal with it. You're going to be OK. Um, in relationships, you're going to get an unexpected offer in the end of July. Someone's coming back for you. Somebody is returning to your life um, that's connected with the universe. It's connected with the uh, divine. Divine timing is here. And um, successful reunions are coming as well as new partnerships uh, that, will, um, that will bring emotional fulfillment, that will last the test of time. Eternal soulmates, twin flames. Uh, However, do not lose yourself in a relationship, uh, in these relationships that are forming in the end of July. I do see a group of you like throwing yourself into this relationship and you, you're losing your sense of self. You're losing your identity. You're losing, um, yourself. Make sure you still remain you be true to you. Um, this person's going to love you no matter what this person is going to love that you have a sense of independence, love that you have, um, a sense of your own self and you're confident in your own self. So that is a, that is an attraction, a turn on a, a magnetism. Uh, so don't jump in head first and, um, yeah, and get lost. Just take it slow, take it easy. And this relationship is going to, uh, fulfill you to the highest magnitude possible. Um, you guys are ending a difficult cycle. Brand new relationships um, are coming in for those of you who are single. Uh, yeah, intense, passionate relationships if you are single. Get out there and, um, and socialize. Just however, during this uh, eclipse, retrograde season, just take it slow. Don't rush. Don't rush into anything. Uh, but new relationships are forming and they're going to be amazing. 
for those of you who are married and kind of having struggles or like it's kind of stagnant stale, you're going to have a re, uh, a rejuvenating energy in your relationship. It's going to bring back passion, romance, the spark. And, uh, and that's going to, that's going to benefit your marriage greatly. For those of you, if, for those of you who are feeling insecure, unsure of yourself, ask yourself why, uh, cause you have all the tools, all the skills to accomplish so much in this next two weeks, especially, but just in life in general, ask yourself, why are you feeling so insecure? Why are you feeling hesitant? Why are you starting to pull back and losing faith? Because, um, you guys have the skills to pay the bills. So don't lose confidence. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Use this energy, this time to re, uh, restore your faith. Restore your faith and trust in yourself and in the universe. Ask the angels to help bring you healing, to use the water of, the, of Mother Nature and cleanse your heart and soul and to ground you to this wonderful place we call home and um, allow your blessings to come in because your self-doubt is kind of, uh, it's not blocking things from coming in, but it's sure slowing them down. So um, just really ask your angels that. Um, keep track of your dreams. Start a dream journal. You're getting a lot of downloads and answers to your life's questions through your dreams. And then you wake up and in that first couple of minutes after you wake up, you could remember enough to journal. Um, but 10 minutes after you're up, you forgot what you already dreamed about. It's very important you get up and keep a journal because throughout the day, we all ask ourselves questions in our mind. Not thinking we're really talking to anybody or like not consciously doing it. Um, in your dreams is when you're getting those answers. Your angels are providing you the guidance and the protection you need to make it through this time and make it through life. Like that's how they connect with you. Um, make sure you're getting plenty of rest as well. So you can receive your downloads. Uh, and, and you need to be eating right, uh, cut back on red meat and eat more greens. Um, Yeah, you guys are having a very sugary diet as well. And yeah, it's time to start eating right, exercise, that kind of that kind of thing. <clears throat> During this time, also a group of you are going to have that aha moment that that realization that you have been looking for in a relationship and it's going to help you choose a path. For this group of you, you are at a crossroads. You're at more than a crossroads. You have a choice between two people or being single. Uh, you're going to have an aha moment around the 22nd to the 24th of July. Something's going to come to you. Some kind of information, whether it be subconsciously, you know, your angels, whether it be a person, some information is coming to you on those two days. It's going to give you that aha moment. It's going to enlighten you, awaken you, and you are uh, picking the path of your life's purpose, picking the path you're meant to be on. So um, those two days, two, three days, make sure you're really paying attention to synchronicities, to omens, um, especially if you see like a hawk, like in a weird place that you wouldn't see one. Um, Yeah. A hawk or an owl. Those are two spirit animals that, um, that I'm seeing that's going to get an omen and, and it's going to show you which way to go. Um, when you see these omens or synchronicities as well, um, stop, acknowledge them. Like you don't have to say it out loud, but acknowledge, you know, like if you see 11, 11 on the clock, acknowledge, I just seen 11, 11 on the clock and then internalize. What were you thinking at that moment? That's going to be your, that's why they show it to you at that moment. So make sure you're taking the time to acknowledge you seeing the omen or synchronicity and then think within, what was I just thinking about? What was I just doing? And relate that to your question you're asking your angels, because that is how they are um, answering you. That is how they are leading you in the right path. For a group of you, divine timing is here. 
amazing. Uh, I just, my whole body just covered in goosebumps. Um, all you've been waiting for, all the hard work, all the nights of crying yourself to sleep, all the questions running through your head of what did I do? What didn't I do? What could I have done different? Uh, the opening of old scars and wounds and healing them back up again in the right way. The releasing, the intentions, it's all paid off. It's all, it's all worth it for one, because you are a better you. You are stronger. You are wiser. You know what you want. You know who you are. You found your peace, your path. And for two, all the work has helped heal them as well and bring them back. So congratulations to those of you who have put in the hard work because it was hard as shit to get through this energy. You guys really have been, you guys have really had it. Uh, I don't want to say tough, but you guys have really had a lot to deal with in the last 18 months to two years. Um, heavy energy, just one thing after another, after another. And you kept trudging through, you kept pushing through and now you're a better you. You're vibrating at a beautiful level. Keep the faith though. For those of you who are thinking it might not happen, they might not be, they, they're never coming back. My hair just stood up on the back of my neck. I'll be anxious to look back at the video and see if I see anything, but, uh, I just seen an orb. <laughs> so, uh, and again, but anyways, uh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah. You're vibrating at an amazing, beautiful level that things are just going to like start vibing for you. Like everything that was your obstacle before everything that you struggled with, that it was one more hurdle to get over before you could get to the next hurdle. All those things are now falling into place just like they're meant to. And the path is smoothening out. It's becoming clear. The sun is here to warm the path, to lighten the path, to show you the way to a beautiful ascension, to show you the way to a beautiful reunion, a beautiful union, a beautiful life with the person you're meant to be with. So enjoy this time. Um, celebrate your success. Rest, relax, have fun, and enjoy the next couple of weeks, Cancer. Congratulations for all the hard work you've done. It is now being rewarded and blessed by the universe with abundance galore. So um, I wish you all the best of luck. As always, may God bless your path with love and light.